Question for you, what would you do with more hours in the day? Probably try to be more profitable and productive, I bet. So why would you risk those advantages if you have faulty alignment tools? In this video, I'll give you eight great tips to make your alignment services more profitable and productive. First things first, check your self-calibrating steer angle sensors. These sensors determine if the vehicle is traveling straight. This is why it is always a good idea to test drive a car after the alignment, as well as performing one lock-to-lock -lock turn before leaving the alignment bay. Second, do not forget about the tires. Like every part of a car, tires and wheels are made with tolerances. You can try discovering the primary reason for the pull, where alignment can be thrown off due to regular driving as miles add up, or a run-in with a pothole, or any other type of accident as well. The third tip is to always check tire inflation pressures since a low tire will pull. It's always important to note tire sizes as well. A car will pull toward the side with the smallest tires or side with the wider tires. Wide tires offer greater rolling resistance than a narrower tire. Tip number four, make sure you hit as close to the preferred setting as possible. When doing an alignment, you want to aim for the midpoint or preferred setting within a range of the adequate specs comparative to the original equipment. And when that isn't possible, make sure you're at least in the range of acceptable specs. Our fifth tip is to fight the crown. Road crown, that is. Steering pull that is caused by road crown can sometimes be compensated by adding a positive caster to the left front wheel compared to the right. You don't need much, just enough to offset the road crown, which slopes a little to the right. The sixth tip is to take notes. I'm serious. A service writer's notes to the technician should answer the following questions. Why does the vehicle require an alignment? Does it pull? Which way? When does it pull? What is the vehicle used for? And etc. The service rider needs to include all relevant information. Our seventh tip is to keep technology in the service bay. With the most modern alignment consoles, the service information incorporated into the core operating software of the system, most of these systems are PC-based and allow you to go to the internet to look for information and even order parts. These are crucial in a modern tire industry environment. Last but not least, our eighth tip is to drive the vehicle before giving it back to the customer. A simple test drive can reveal a lot of problems that might have been otherwise overlooked. Sure, test drives take time, but so do comebacks. Think of it as a final quality control check. I'm Christian Hinton, coming to you from the Tire Review Continental Tire Garage Studio. Thanks for watching.